Hi everyone, welcome to video 5 of the series Patent Agent Exam 2025. My name is Tanu Goyal and I am the director and founder of WSLI. In this video, we will have a look at the list of non-patentable inventions disclosed in section 3 of the Indian Patents Act 1970. As discussed in the previous video, the Indian Patents Act is silent on the exact categories of inventions that can be patented. However, a list of statutory exceptions is disclosed from Section A through Section B. So let's have a deeper look at these non-patentable inventions with examples and lawsuits. Section 3A states that an invention which is frivolous or which claims anything obviously contrary to well-established natural laws. Now any invention which challenges the natural laws will come under this subsection. For example, if someone claims that they have made a machine, a perpetual motion machine which produces work without any energy input, then this is contrary to law of thermodynamics that is, energy can neither be created nor destroyed. It simply changes from one form to another. Coming to Section 3B of the Indian Patents Act, it states that an invention, the primary or intended use or commercial exploitation of which could be contrary to public order or morality or which causes serious prejudice to human, animal or plant life or health or to the environment. The classic example is Onco Mouse, a mouse which was genetically modified by researchers at Harvard Medical School in the early 1980s by introducing an oncogene that can trigger the growth of tumors so that this mouse can be used as a model for medical research. Now, this raised ethical issues. Although the patent got granted in the US, it could not make it in countries like Canada and India. Coming to section 3C, this subsection states that the mere discovery of a scientific principle or the formulation of an abstract theory or discovery of any living thing or non-living substance occurring in nature is non-patentable. You can have a look at 6541 CHENP 2008 where claims 1 to 4 were directed to isolated nucleic acid sequence from human genomic DNA. This because is isolated and occurring in nature is not allowed under Section 3C of the Act. A few recent lawsuits which have clarified the language of Section 3C are here on the screen and must be understood well so as to be updated on the interpretation of Section 3C. Coming to Section 3D, which is the most important from pharma and biotech point of view, so many cases have come to the limelight trying to get salts, esters and polymorphs of the drug patented in India. Let's see what the subsection says. The mere discovery of a new form of a known substance which does not result in the enhancement of the known efficacy of that substance or the mere discovery of any new property or new use for a known substance or of the mere use of a known process, machine or apparatus unless such known process results in a new product or employs at least one new reactant. The classic example of this exception is when Novartis tried to get the beta-crystalline form of the imatinib mesylate salt patented in India. Since it claimed a polymorph of an already known drug imatinib mesylate, this patent was not granted in India. Although Novartis argued that this particular polymorph of the drug shows a better flow property, there was improvement in thermodynamic stability, reduced hygroscopicity and augmented bioavailability. Still, because the uh, enhancement of efficacy could not be proved, this patent was rejected in India. A very recent example is IIT Madras versus Controller General of Patents, Designs and Trademark. The patent application number is 4032 CHE 2013. You can go through this interesting case. I will leave link in the description below. Coming to Section 3E, a substance obtained by a mere admixture resulting only in the aggregation 
of the properties of the components thereof or a process for producing such substance. An example of this subsection is patent application number 2899 Dell NP 2005. Here, a sterile pharma composition was claimed which included a water-insoluble anti-cancer agent and a pharma-acceptable carrier albumin. The ratio of albumin to the anti-cancer agent was 1 is to 1 to 9 is to 1. Since this was just an admixture of two known substances which did not result or involve an inventive step, so it was rendered non-patentable. Section 3F of the Indian Patents Act 1970 states that the mere arrangement or rearrangement or duplication of known devices each functioning independently of one another in a known way. Examples of Section 3F of Indian Patents Act include a bucket fitted with a torch or an umbrella with a fan or a hat with a fan. Most popular cases for Section 3F of the Indian Patents Act include Ram Pratap v. Baba Atomic Research Centre of 1976 and Biswanath Prasad Radhesh Sham v. Hindustan Medical Industries of 1978. Section 3G is omitted from the Indian Patents Act 1970. Coming to Section 3H, a method of agriculture or horticulture is a statutory exception. To understand this subsection better, we can look at 2245 Dell NP 2009 patent application. Here the applicant claimed a carnivorous plant that can be used as a medium for the production of a protein. The applicant claimed a process in which plant was genetically modified by transformation and protein was expressed in the digestive secretion of the genetically modified plant. Hence. This patent application was refused on the grounds of Section 3J. Cultivation of plant, growing of the plant, harvesting of fluid from the trap was considered as a method of agriculture. Hence, it was also not a patentable invention. Let's go through the rest of the subsections one by one, which are quite straightforward and self-explanatory in nature. However, if you get stuck somewhere and are doubtful of the explanation of these subsections, you can always write to us in the comments below and we will get back to you within 24 hours. Section 3J Plants and animals in whole or any part thereof other than microorganisms but including seeds, varieties and species and essentially biological processes for production or propagation of plants and animals. Section 3K states that a mathematical or business method or a computer program per se or algorithms cannot be patented under Section 3 of the Indian Patents Act 1970. A few examples and code cases pertaining to Section 3K will be mentioned in the description below. Section 3L states that a literary, dramatic, musical or artistic work or any other aesthetic creation whatsoever, including cinematographic works and television productions, cannot be patented. These kind of works are rather protected by copyright in India. Section 3M, a mere scheme or rule or method of performing mental act or method of playing game. Section 3N, a presentation of information. Section 3O is to topography of integrated circuits and section 3p is an invention which in effect is traditional knowledge or which is an aggregation or duplication of known properties of traditionally known component or components. Section 4 of the Indian Patents Act 1970 says that invention relating to atomic energy are not patentable. So any invention which is anyhow related to atomic energy has been considered as a, as a statutory exception in the Indian Patents Act 1970. Section 5 of the Indian Patents Act is omitted. In this video, we had a closer look at the list of non-patentable inventions disclosed in various subsections of Section 3 of the Indian Patents Act 1970. 
In the next video, we will be covering Chapter 3 of the Indian Patents Act, which includes sections 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, as well as 11. This section again is important. However, uh, there are certain sections from this chapter from which many questions come in paper 1 and 2. However, section 3 is important from both the written paper's point of view as well as viva. So let's cover the next chapter in the next video.